Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. No? So we are now um, in our continuation of our discussion um, and the topic, Jesus Calls Us to Freedom. No? So napag-usapan natin dito sa ating, um, sa ating introduction ay yung paraan or yung pagkakataon na ipinaglaban ni Jesus yung tunay na kahulugan. nung Sabbath, no? Yung tunay na kahulugan ng Sabbath na um, yun nga, no? Maraming mga Pharisees and scribes na naniniwala na si Jesus ay naging violator nung tinatawag na Sabbath law, no? Kung saan bawal daw ang work, no? At dapat magpahinga, ganun. Pero mas pinaliwanag, no? Pinaliwanag sa atin ni Jesus na Sabbath is made for man and not man for the Sabbath, no? Mas mahalaga No, mas mahalaga na piliin natin araw-araw yung mga bagay na makakatulong sa bawat isa o sa taong mga nakapaligid sa atin kesa basta lang tayo sumunod sa lo ng na, 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 na nakikita natin, no? And uh, perhaps that gives us not only the identity or the the real meaning of what Sabbath is, but it also gives us a real meaning of what freedom is, no? Sabi nga natin, no, the freedom is not boundless, no. Ma- makikita natin na yun nga nung tinanong ko kayo nung uh, kung ano yung definition nung tinatawag nating freedom, marami ang sumagot. Sabi nila, freedom is doing anything that I want, no. Pero mali pala yon, no. Pinapakita sa atin sa experience ni Jesus that our freedom is not boundless. Ibig sabihin, merong hangganan yung tinatawag nating freedom. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin lahat ng mga bagay na gusto mo dahil gusto mo lang. No? We need to understand that there is bound uh, the, the our freedom is always bounded by by um, bounded by the law of God that commands us to do the right thing every day, no? Yung gumawa tayo ng tama, to do what is right and to do what is good, no? Sabi ko nga the real definition of freedom is for you to do what is ought to do, no? Gumawa ng tama, no? At um, pinag-usapan din natin that uh, freedom uh, one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest um, definition na pwede nating uh, mapag-usapan is freedom is the power to act. or not to act, no? So power to act or not to act. So yung yung kakayahan mo na pigilan yung sarili mo, nagwag gawin yung mga bagay na alam mong hindi tama. At yung kakayahan mo, no? Yung kakayahan mo na gawin yung tama kahit na yung mga taong nakapaligid sa ay hindi gumagawa ng tama. That's the power to act or not to act. To do or not to do no so more or less yun yung the real definition of freedom no yung kakayahan natin no yung kakayahan nating makapamili no makapamili ng tamang gagawa no sa specific situations no you will be facing a different um, you will be facing difficult situations in life and using your freedom will give you the power to do what is right or to act in accordance to what is right or not to act no in in that specific moment no kaya nga no uh, mas maganda no maganda na simulan natin itong discussion na to with this uh, with this definition of freedom no so more or less we need to understand yes it is the power to act and not to act no and we need to remember that we should perform deliberate acts with full responsibility anong ibig sabihin ng deliberate acts no pag sinabing deliberate acts no you are faced with uh, you are faced with choices no you are faced with choices no meron choice number one, may choice number two, choice number three. no so more or less what with those choices no with with those choices na meron ka no sa sa isang sitwasyon no yung yung deliberate ang pag ang ibig sabihin ng deliberate acts iisipin mo no you will be you'll be looking at those three choices si choice one, choice two, choice three, and you will see Alin dito yung ano yung consequences? Ano yung consequences ng actions? Pag ginawa ko si A, ano magigiging ang mangyayari? Pag ginawa ko si B, anong mangyayari? Pag ginawa ko si C, anong mangyayari? No, so more or less ganun. Ganun ganun yung nangyayari, no? Uh, habang habang tayo ay nagde-decision, no? Habang tayo ay nagde-decision. Since we are using our intellect, no? Since we are using our intellect, we are able to know the consequences of each choices. And since we use our intellect, pinag-isipan mong mabuti. So therefore, you are fully responsible 
of your action. Na wala kang dapat sisihin kasi ikaw mismo yung nakakita dun sa mga choices na meron ka. And because you you see the you see your choices, you see the consequences of those actions pag yun ang ginawa mo, wala kang dapat sisihin. You are fully responsible for that action. So therefore, freedom will make you responsible for your own action. And so therefore, because of your freedom, you will now be considered voluntary agents. Now, pag sinabing voluntary agents, ibig sabihin walang kahit na sinong pumilit sa iyo. Yes, you were you were influenced. No, you were influenced by other persons na nakausap, na nakasama or naka um nakaapekto sa decision mo during that time. But the one that makes the decision is the one who deliberates the action. Yung nag-isip at yung pumili. Na yun yung gawin, no? You use your intellect to deliberate, to see your choices. And because of your free will, because of your free choice, ikaw yung pumili na gawin yun, no? Sabi ko nga kanina, maraming mga tao na nakasama mo, naka-influence sa'yo during making decisions. Pero ang iintindihin natin, you are the ones who make those choices. Diba? So you are now fully responsible of that action. So therefore, if you're fully responsible of that action, we consider you as the voluntary agents. No? So responsible ka sa action mo. Kung ano man ang consequences, nung ano man yung, yung sa choices na pinili mo, no, dapat maging handa ka dun sa mga bagay na yun. No? So yun yung ibig sabihin nito. Freedom makes us responsible of our action and therefore we are considered voluntary agents. Wala tayong sisisihin, no? Kamali ka, nakagawa ka ng hindi tama, nakagawa ka ng, uh, ng hindi ayon sa sa dapat mong ginagawa. No, wala kang ibang sisisihin, no? May mga taong may mga taong sinaba, may sinabi sila para mapunta ka sa ganung desisyon, pero hindi mo pwede silang sisihin because you're the one who choose that action. Using your intellect, you deliberate it and you choose it using your free will. So therefore, you are the ones who choose that action. You're responsible for that specific action. No? So yun yung, mga, ano, yun yung bagay na dapat nating matutunan. So therefore, no, but because we, are, we, are, we see ourselves as voluntary agents, we need to recognize that the flip side of right is responsibility. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Iniintindi natin, alam natin, yung freedom is, um, yung freedom, Um, will give us an idea that all of us have rights. Meron kang karapatan. You have you have the right um you have you have the right for freedom of expression. You have the right to live, you have right to study. Lahat yung mga bagay na yan, karapatan mo yan. Pero it's not just a right. It's your responsibility to respond from that rights, no? So more or less you you have freedom of speech no karapatan mong magpahayag karapatan mong magsalita pero karapatan mo or um, kasama sa responsibility ng karapatan mong magsalita ay yung dapat every time na nagsasalita ka hindi ka nakakasakit ng iba no huh? sa kagustuhan mong mabuhay no you have the right to live pero dapat habang nabubuhay ka, you allow other persons to live with you as well. No? That's your responsibility. No, habang nabubuhay ka, dapat nakakapamuhay din ng maayos yung iba. Hindi yung hindi yung nabubuhay ka, pero pinapatay mo naman yung iba, no? Sa kasakiman mo, sa kadamutan mo, di ba? More or less we need to understand that the flip side of the right is responsibility. No? Sabi nga nung uh, trending na superhero nitong mga nakaraang araw, no? Sabi ni Spider-Man, great power comes great responsibility, no? Meron tayong karapatan, meron tayong mga karapatan. Pero dapat meron din tayong naiintindihan natin kung ano yung kakibat na responsibilidad nito. No? Yes, we understand. No? Isa, pang, isa pang bagay na dapat natin maintindihan when it comes to right, we need to understand that we ourselves have our rights. But at the same time, well, no, uh, tayo, no, meron tayong karapatan. At, at the same time, we need to understand that other people will have their own rights as well. No? Kailangan natin protektahan yung karapatan natin. Kailangan natin ipaglaban yung karapatan natin. But we need to understand. We need to protect the rights of others as well. 
Hindi pwedeng yung karapatan mo lang yung iniisip mo araw-araw. Dapat iniisip mo rin yung karapatan ng ibang tao na kasama mo na nabubuhay. No? So, yun, no? yun, yung, uh, yun yung mahalagang bagay dito sa meaning ng freedom. No? Katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo, dapat maintindihan at maunawaan ng lahat. Thus, our freedom stops when we step on someone's right. No, malalaman natin na lumagpas na tayo dun sa tinatawag nating freedom if we keep on stepping on someone's right. No? Kung lumalagpas tayo dun sa karapatan pang tao ng ibang tao. No? So we need to understand. We need to respect our... We, we wanted people to respect our rights. Pero dapat we need to respond or we need to respect also the rights of others. No? So... Mahalaga 'yon, no? Mahalaga 'yon. Bakit nga ba, no? Bakit nga ba ganun yung uh, ganun nga ganun, ganun na punta yung discussions natin? Because um, we need to we need to understand here that freedom is natural, no? Ibig sabihin ng natural ng pagkapanganak mo, automatic meron na. No? Automatic meron ka na noon, no? Hindi mo kailangang magpa hindi mo kailangang hindi mo kailangang maging uh, maging at this certain age para maging para maging uh, para magkaroon ka ng uh, ng freedom. Hindi No, pagkapanganak mo pa lang, you are endowed with this what we call freedom. No? Freedom is um free, freedom is natural. Freedom is always there, no? Yung freedom, freedom from expression, freedom freedom um freedom of expression of political views and affiliations, no? So, um, alam ko nitong mga nitong mga pan- nakaraang panahon, parang napakalaking napakalaking discussions. Dilawan ka ba o DDS ka. Ganun, no? Wala tayong wala wala dapat tayong pag-usapan doon, no? Hindi dapat natin i-criticize kung anong kulay ka man, kung ano man kulay yung yung fina-follow mo sa pagdating sa government. Why? Because we are free of to, or to express, no, our affiliation. So hindi naman da, hindi naman hindi naman porket DDS sila, i-unfriend natin sila. Hindi porket dilawan sila. bias sila no mga ganung mga bagay there uh, unang-una no unang-una we need to understand that politics and society has no color no politics and society has no color no kaya ang alam niyo yon no kahit sino namang ilagay mo diyan eh kahit sino namang ilagay mo diyan sa posisyon people will say something about that um, about that government no we kasi ang problema sa mga Pilipino we are finding the right government but we forgot to be the right member of the society. Nanalimutan natin kung paano maging tamang miyembro ng society ito, no? So, yun, freedom is natural for all, no? Lahat tayo merong freedom, no? Kahit yung mga nandun sa kulungan, no? Nandun sa preso, no? Uh, they are they are yes, they're confined in that jail, pero they have freedom, no? They have they, they also have their freedom. Uh, pero because of the things that they have done, because they are voluntary agents of their actions because they are responsible of their actions pero silang mga bagay na nagawa na hindi tama kaya kailangan nilang pagbayaran kapalit yung freedom na makalabas dun sa kung nasaan man sila no so yun nga no babalik tayo doon freedom stops when you step on someone's right no so freedom is natural to all no may lalaki babae Uh, matangkad, maliit, mataba, mapayat, may ngipin o wala, lahat tayo may kalayaan, na? May kalayaan. So freedom is natural. Now, now let's talk about freedom as liberation, na? Pag sinabi nating freedom as liberation, paglaya, na? Ang ganda, ang ganda ng ang ganda ng definition na yan, paglaya. It is considered a higher freedom. Hindi lang siya ano, hindi lang siya basta kalayaan, kundi parang ano, you are confined, no? You are you are you are confined in something that you you needed to be liberated from it, no? Kailangan mong makalaya, no? Kailangan mong ma- ma- mapalaya yung sarili mo in a in 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 a, that sur- in a certain situation na 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 oppress ka, no? Katulad nga ng sabi dito, it is considered the higher freedom why because it is going against any oppressive 
um, system such as poverty and ignorance, no? Yung paglaya natin, no? Paglaya natin sa kahirapan, no? Tayong lahat, di ba? Kaya ka nag-aaral ngayon. Kaya ka nagsusumikap ngayon. Kaya mo kahit na uh, kahit nag mas masarap mahiga, ito ka nakikinig ka. No, nag-aaral ka, nagno-notes ka. Why? Because you wanted yourself to be better in order for you na pagdating ng panahon, hindi ka maghirap, no? You wanted to liberate yourself from, from poverty, no? Kaya ka nag-aaral because you wanted to liberate yourself from ignorance para may alam ka, no? Para pag may mga taong nag-uusap sa tabi mo tungkol sa mga bagay-bagay, meron kang isasagot, no? You wanted to be freed from that. No, that's freedom of liberation. No, there is something, no, there is there is such um, oppressive system that you wanted to liberate yourself. You wanted freedom from freedom from that, no? So that's what we call freedom of liberation, no? So saan nga ba, no? Saan nga ba nang galing itong uh, itong um, itong freedom na ito, no? So syempre, babalik tayo dun sa story of creation. God has created man in his own image and likeness no nilagay niya tayo sa isang lugar no nung nilikha si Adan at si Eva no nilikha nilagay siya sa isang lugar kung saan magagawa niya lahat ng mga bagay na yan no so we are created free no at ang ganda ang ganda nitong sinabi dito god will never interfere with our freedom No, hindi ba kayo alam ang Diyos, no? Every time na gumagawa ka ng decision, no? Every time na gumagawa ka ng decision, alam ng Diyos na magkakamali ka. <laughs> alam ng Diyos na maaring mali yung gawin mo sa pagkakataong 'yon. Pero hindi bubukas yung langit pag gumawa ka ng mali, hindi bubukas yung langit. Sasabihin niya sa iyo, "Hoy, Brian, mali 'yan." Hindi ganoon. No, God will never interfere with your freedom. No? God will never interfere with your freedom. Tanong, no? Maaring maging tanong, no? Maaring maging tanong. Sir, alam ba ng Diyos na magkakamali si Adan at si Eva? No? Probably the answer is yes because God knows all things. Pero kung 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 alam ng Diyos na magkakamali si Adan at si Eva, bakit niya hinayaan? Ang sila lang ang sagot. Dahil mahal ka niya. No? Dahil mahal niya ang tao. Dahil mahal niya ang tao. No? kahit na alam niya na magkakamali si Adan at si Eva hindi niya hindi God did not interfere with their freedom to choose to eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge dahil mahal sila ng Diyos. No? Hinayaan lang ng Diyos. Now God allows it because of love. Bakit kaya hinahayaan ang magkamali ng Diyos? Dahil mahal ka ng Diyos. Alam ng Diyos na magkakamali ka from time to time. Hinahayaan niyo yun kasi mahal ka niya. Mahal ka niya. No? Wala akong maisip na ibang, ibang sagot kung bakit hinahayaan ng Diyos na magkamali ang tao. Because God will never interfere with your freedom. No? Nagtitiwala siya that later on, yes, you commit many mistakes in the past, but since God loves you, God believes at darating yung panahon, you will still choose to be good. No? Ganun kalupit. No? Ang ganda, no? Because we are talking about freedom, but we will be going down. We will go back to the reality that God loves us. Mahal niya tayo. Hindi niya tayo, hindi siya mag interfere dun sa freedom na meron tayo na binigay niya sa atin. Kasi nagtitiwala siya. Nagtitiwala siya sa atin. No? Napakaganda no, no? God will never interfere with our freedom. No? And uh, individual, no? Tayong mga, uh, tayong mga tao, no? Tayong mga tao, we need to understand that freedom is personal and universal. Katulad ng sinabi ko, katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, no? Kung tayo may karapatan, yung ibang tao may karapatan din. No? Freedom is both personal and universal. Ibig sabihin tayo, No, tayong sa sarili natin, we long for our own freedom. And other persons around us, no, and other person who who lives around uh, around us also wants their freedom. Ha? Kaya nga kadalasan ang problema dito sa pagkakaintindi natin, no? Kasi nga mali yung pagkakaunawa natin ng city tinatawag natin freedom. Wala kang pakialam sa gagawin ko. Buhay ko to, freedom ko to. No? Kaya kadalasan nagkakaroon ng clash. Kasi akala natin, freedom is just doing what you want. 
but we need to understand no since ngayong araw alam na natin kung ano yung tunay na meaning ng freedom we need to understand freedom is doing what is right what is ought to do no kaya nga we need to understand itong freedom na meron ako meron din freedom yung ibang tao no pag lumagpas tayo dun sa freedom sa boundaries ng freedom natin dun dun nagkakaroon ng problema no kaya nga kaya nga kailangan ng law no kailangan ng law to in order for us no in order for us to regulate our freedom no para magbigay ng boundaries dun sa freedom natin no so it is not right to say or do anything but it's our obligation to do good. No? It is not the right to say or do anything. No? Well, eh, parang more, more or less, um, wala namang ano eh, wala namang, wala namang, uh, wala namang, wala namang masyado. Well, yung ano, yung kung, kung sa, sa simula ng mundo, no, sa simula ng mundo, wala naman talagang law eh. No? Wala, na-develop na, na lang yung law as time goes by. No? Pero yung, yung law na nakasulat dun sa puso natin, yung law na iniwan sa atin ng Diyos, when God created us, obliges us to do the good. Na? Obliges us to do the good. Isang example nito, ano, na lahat tayo, we desire good, walang gumigising sa araw-araw, tapos sinasabi niya sa sarili niya, sana may masamang mangyari sa akin. Walang ganun. Na lahat tayo, lagi nating pinagdadasalang, gusto natin mangyari, sana sa araw na to maging okay ako. Di ba? Pansin niyo pag nagsindi kayo ng kandila, na, nagsindi kayo ng kandila, ilapit mo yung kamay mo dun sa apoy, pag napadikit yung kamay mo dun sa apoy, ilalayo niya agad. Ilalayo niya yung, yung daliri mo. Why? Because ayaw mong masaktan. So therefore, all of us doesn't want to be hurt. So therefore, all of us should always do good. Diba? It's our obligation. Walang nagsabi sa'yo na gawin mo yung tama. But you are obliged to do the good. Na? So we need to understand that. Na? Next, let's talk about our limits to freedom. No, the limits of our freedom. No, the, yun nga katulad ng uh, paulit-ulit kung sinasabi, the limits of our freedom is the rights of others. No, if you step on someone's right, no, more or less, titigil yung freedom mo. For example, yung freedom of speech. No, you you are free to tell anything, but you are not free to tell lies about others. No? Pwede mong sabihin lahat ng bagay, pero pag nagsabi ka ng mga bagay na hindi totoo tungkol sa kapwa mo, that's gossiping. Pwede mong ikulong, pwede mong ikakulong yan. No? Um, it's bearing false witness. No? Um, you're, you have freedom to acquire things for yourself. But you are not free. No? Katulad nga ng sinabi ko, may kirapatan kang magkaroon ng mga bagay na meron ka pero hindi pwedeng ang gawin mo, kunin mo yung mga bagay na meron yung ibang tao pero meron ka rin. Hindi pwede yun. No? You have the freedom to have your own but you don't, you, you are not allowed to have your own by getting it from someone else. No? The, the rights of others because the, they have the rights over that. No, if we surpass or um, lumayo tayo or naka, naka, nakapasok tayo dun sa freedom ng iba, no, nang, nang himasok tayo sa freedom ng iba, no? Dun na, dun na, dun, dun na pumapasok, no? Dun na pumapasok yung mga punishment in terms of law, no? So, yun, no, the first limits of freedom is the rights of others. Next is our status in life. No, gustong-gusto ko tong part na to, no? Our status in life eh, hindi or, or um, our status in life limits our freedom. Na, no? kung dati pwede kang uh, pwede kang mag-date ng kung sino-sino, no? Pwede kang mag-chat kung kani-kanino, no? Pwede kang makipag makipag-duo kung kani-kanino pag ikaw ay kinasal. You're not allowed to do that anymore. No, uy, wala naman akong ginagawang masama. Alam ko, wala kang ginagawang masama. But you if you are in a relationship, hindi mo na dapat ginagawa yung mga bagay na yun, no? That's decency, no? That's being a decent pia, decent um decent person. No, di ba? Di ba nalilimit yung nalilimit yung freedom natin because of who we are. For example, I'm a teacher. Ayan, no? Sige, isipin niyo, nagiiinom si Sir, no? Nagiiinom si Sir tas pinos pinos ko sa Facebook. Alam ko hindi masama naman yung paminsan-minsan na pag-inom. No? Pero religion teacher, nag-inom, pinos sa FB. Anong sasabihin ng mga estudyante? Lo, grabe si Sir, ganun. 
'di ba? Alam niyo 'yon, no? Hindi naman masama 'yon, pero more or less, no, you need to understand that um meron kang certain status in life, no? Meron kang certain status in life na kailangan mong kailangan mong mag-act in accordance with that with that status. No, for example, you're a student. Student ka, tapos hindi ka, na, hindi, hindi ka man lang nagbukas ng araling sa isang linggo. Student ka, pero never kang nagpasa ng requirements. Di ba? Hindi, hindi ka studyante, tambay ka. Di ba? Do you understand? No? You are student because you are ought to study. No? Studyante ka kasi kailang um, dapat ikaw ay nag-aaral. No? Hindi, ka, hindi ka lang nakaupo sa Zoom. No, hindi ka lang nakikinig, hindi ka lang basta nakikinig tas wala kang paki-alam, no? If you are here as a student, you need to learn, learn something, no? So, yun, no, it limits our freedom, no? So, I think it's not just a limit, no? It gives us a direction of what we are doing, no? Kailangan alam natin, no? Sabi nga ng great philosopher, know thyself, no? Kailangan kilala mo yung sarili mo para makagawa ka ng mga tamang bagay, tamang desisyon sa sarili mo no makakagawa ka ng tamang desisyon pang araw-araw okay so that's uh, that's the limit of freedom next no ito ito yung mga bagay no yung mga bagay na yon no yung mga bagay na nauna nating sinabi no yung mga bagay na nauna nating sinabi controllable natin to eh this is controllable kung kaya nating uh, kaya nating i-limit yung freedom natin uh, based on the uh, the, free, the rights of others kaya nating i-limit yung freedom natin kaya nating gumawa ng tama based on our status in life pero ito yung mga uncontrollable, no? more or less, uh, ito yung mga uncontrollable forces or factors that limits our freedom. No? Violence. Di ba? Kung nari ikaw, takot na takot ka. Sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, no? sabi ko sa inyo kanina, an action for it to be done with freedom, we need deliberate. No? Deliberate action and free willing. Ibig sabihin, ikaw mismo yung nakakita ng mga consequences and because of that consequences, you are allowed to choose. No? But because of this external factors na hihinder yung tinatawag nating free choices or na nahihinder na yung tinatawag nating deliver, de, de, deliberation why kasi first of all first one violence takot na takot ka no for example no for example may isang tao no na bigla na lang naglakad sa tabi mo tinutukan ka ng baril no tinutukan ka ng baril no? pagkatutok sa iyo ng baril natakot ka no ginawa mo inagaw mo yung baril na baril mo siya napatay mo siya No? So, a moralist, because of the fear, because of that violence na at hand, no? because of that violence at hand, nakagawa ka ng desisyon na makapatay ka, no? uh, ma- 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 masaktan mo siya no? because of violence that happened. No? So, moralist, pag-uusapan natin later on kung anong mangyayari doon. No? So, na-impede yung, na-limit yung freedom mo during that, that time. Injustices. No? Yeah, no? Uh, for example, sa isang malaking kumpanya, sa isang malaking kumpanya, balito yung sahod, pero pagod na pagod yung mga tao. No? Anong ginagawa ng mga tao? Nakakaisip sila ng mga bagay. Nakakaisip sila ng mga bagay na hindi dapat nila dapat naiisip. No? Nagnanakaw yung iba dun sa kumpanya. Yung iba, they are being dishonest. But be- that's because of injustices. I'm not saying that they are correct. Na okay lang na gumawa sila ng ano, gumawa sila ng mali kasi injustice naman yung nangyari. Pero ang sinasabi ko lang, they are doing their action not in their full freedom but because of injustices. No? So pag-uusapan natin yan later on kung ano yung mga consequences na. No? Isa pang bagay, no, na naglilimit sa atin sa freedom, uh, yung tinatawag nating sin. Kasalanan. Now, if we are in, we if we are in the state of sin magtutuloy-tuloy eh no magtutuloy-tuloy yung mga mali nating ginagawa now for example hindi ako nagsimba ngayong linggo next week ay hindi naman ako nakapagsimba sa nung ano for example simbang gabi di ba for example sa simbang gabi let's put it this way no let's put it this way mahalos makumpleto mo yung simbang gabi pang anim na gabi hindi ka nagising isa pang pitong gabi parang ayaw mo nang magsimba kasi may kulang ka naman na isa. 'Di ba? More or less na no? magtutuloy-tuloy. If you are keep if you keep on doing the wrong thing, that becomes a habit, no? That becomes a vice, no? So more or less nagiging uh, nagiging nagiging problema 'yon para makagawa ka ng tamang desisyon sa buhay mo, sa araw-araw na buhay mo, no? So therefore the real meaning of our freedom no so the freedom is liberation we need to liberate no we need to be liberated 
from the la- radical slavery of sin. Lumalis tayo. No, sabi ko nga sa inyo dun sa discussion natin, if we are in the we if we are faced into temptation, we don't fight temptation. We run away from temptation, no? So be so for us to be truly free, we need to get rid of this obstacle, especially sin. No, kailangan nating lumayo dun sa tinatawag nating kasalanan, no? So freedom, no, in um, true freedom is using our intelligence and wisdom no, in order for us to become or to grow into a full person and a true children of God. Kailangan gamitin natin. No? Gamitin natin yung ating utak. Gamitin natin yung ating free will. No? Intelligence and free will in making decisions in order for us to become true children of God. No? Before I end, no? before I end our discussion, no? Um, if we talk about freedom, we talk about two things. No? The human acts and act of man. No? Anong kaibahan ng human act sa act of man? No? Gusto ko munang pag-isipan ninyo itong mabuti. No? So for example, no? ang, human act, no? ang human act, gusto ko sagutin nyo to sa utak ninyo habang nakikinig kayo. Ang human act, um, ang for example nito ay um, human act ay for example, Um, ikaw ay um, ikaw ay uh, uminom, no? Uminom ka. Uminom ka ng tubig. No? That's human act, no? Uminom ka ng tubig kasi sobrang uhaw na uhaw ka na. No? Ang act of man, na uhaw ka. No? Ano kaya yung difference noon? Uminom at na uhaw. Yeah, no? Gusto ko pag-isipan ninyo yung mabuti. No? But um, let me read you the definition of human act. The human acts are acts that proceeds from the deliberate and free willing human person no and acts of man is the acts without deliberation and without the exercise of free will no doon muna tayo sa acts of man no ito yung mga bagay na hindi ginagawa ng tao pero hindi na niya pinag-iisipan no ginagawa ng tao pero hindi niya na pinag-iisipan ito namang the acts of man ang ginagawa niya katulad ng sinabi ko kanina katulad ng sinabi ko kanina you deliberate you see your choices no you see your choices no you see and know your choices you know the consequences and then you use your free will no using your intellect you see and know your choices and because of your free will you choose which is better options no so that's deliberate and free willing no so pinag-isipan mo dineliberate mo and pumi- pinili mo so that's free willing no so any action na pinag-isipan pinili no pinili ay more or less what we call human acts no so yeah no so let's give an example for example no for example kumain ka no ayan kita niyo sinabi ko kanina kumain ka No? So, pag pumunta ka sa kantin, pagbaba mo sa kantin, pagbaba mo sa kitchen ninyo, may dalawang ulam. No? May dalawang ulam, hotdog tsaka itlog. Pinili mo yung hotdog, kainin mo yung hotdog, tapos hindi mo pinili yung, yung um, itlog. So, more or less, that's human act. Pinili mo. You see your choices. No? For example, pag gising mo sa umaga, pag gising mo sa umaga, may breakfast. No? May mga may breakfast. Mas madali kasing isipin yung pagkain para, ano, ano. Pero, di ba, may breakfast. Nagugutom ka. Nag, yung nagutom ka, that's act of mind. No? Hindi mo na pinag-iisipan na, ay, alas 7 na, magugutom ako. Ay, alas 6 na, gutom na ako. Ganon. Ay, alas 7 na, nauuhaw ako. Hindi ganon, di ba? Basta mo na lang yun nararaman. That, nararamdaman. So, that's an act of man no that acts of man no so yung bodily tendencies more or less that's acts of man hindi mo na pinag-iisipan yung pagkurap no yung pagkurap mo hindi mo na pinag-iisipan na kumukurap ka di ba so iba na lang kung pinipikit mo talaga yung mga mata mo no so that's act of man no so therefore um, hindi mo yun pinag-iisipan pero yung um, katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo yung, yung pagpili mo ng mga bagay na kinakain mo that's human act no yung pagkain mo that's human act Okay? Pero yung digestion, no? pagkakain mo, habang dinadigest, hindi mo naman inutusan yung stomach mo, ay mag-digest ka. ba? Diba? So more or less, that's human act. Lahat ng mga bagay na pinag-iisipan is human act. And we need to understand and we need to, um, to, to be clear on this, that any actions that is considered human act is the things, the only actions that we can say Um, that we can judge whether it is good or bad. 
because it is the only person or it is the only axe that is cre- uh, that is made by a human agent. Inulit ko. Ang pwede lang nating i-judge kung t- tama, mali, good or bad ay yung tinatawag nating human acts. Why? Because it comes from the voluntary agent who deliberate and free willingly choose the action. No, hindi pwedeng yung acts of man. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, "Uy, mali yan, kumurap ka." No, kaya natatawa ako dun sa ibang mga teacher. Di ba? Kasi may ibang mga teacher nagagalit sila pag yung estudyante na hikab. Pero ang totoo, yung acts, um, yung paghikab, hindi mo yun, hindi mo yun sinasadya. Bigla na lang yung nangyayari. So that's acts of man. So hindi mali yung batang na hikab kasi that's natural tendency, no? So that uh, that's acts of man, no? So more or less we need to understand. Hindi mo pwedeng i-judge yung bagay na yon, no? Na yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi nang galing dun sa tinatawag na free willing human person or galing dun sa deliberation ng free willing human voluntary agent. No? So sana naintindihan ninyo, no? So bago ako magtapos, I just wanted to ask. I just wanted to ask. Falling in love. Is it human acts or acts of man? No? Sana pag-isipan natin 'yan, yung falling in love, yung pag yung nahulog ka sa ta- sa ta- sa mali o sa tamang tao man. Is that a human act or act of man? No? So so much for that no so we need uh, sana marami po kayong natutunan so muli maraming maraming salamat po